Okay, so uh, today we will uh, show our project, uh, which was done for uh, an exam. The course was uh, Computational Models for Complex Systems, uh, and it was made by me, Salvatore Salerno, and my colleague, uh, Alexander Steyers. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> the title of the project is uh, Utah Strasbourgiana Silicon Desert, which is uh, a really stupid name, and we will expe uh, explain it. So. Okay, uh, let's start by introducing the lizard species. So, the Utah Strasbourgiana is a species of side blotched lizard, mainly known for their behavior in mating depending on the morph of the male. Uh, the morphing of the lizard is uh, uh, known by the color of their neck, which can either be orange, blue, or yellow. This uh, species of lizard live, uh, lives in the desert near the western part of the United States and in the northern Mexico. Okay, uh, let's explain the rock, paper, scissor pattern. So, uh, the pattern in the survival of the morph is similar to the game of rock, paper, scissor, when we have uh, three moves, uh, rock, paper or scissor, and each move can beat another one, for example, the rock can beat the scissor, but uh, it's, uh, the, the other move can beat it. So, for example, the rock uh, is beaten by the paper. Uh, here we have the lizards, the colors here are a little messy, but this is the orange lizard, the blue lizard, and the yellow lizard. So, the orange lizard is the stronger, the biggest win most of its fights, and uh, has the larger territory. In this way, it can attract more female and in the battle of survival can beat uh, the blue lizard, which is uh, weaker, smaller, and has uh, a territory when it can have uh, at most one uh, female lizard, its wife, we can say. On the other hand, we have the yellow lizard, which is called a sneaker. Uh, the yellow lizard uh, acts uh, and uh, um, uh, has a size similar to the female ones. Uh, in this way, instead of having a territory, it sneaks inside the other lizard territories and uh, attracts the female without the uh, orange lizard or blue lizard knowing. Uh, in uh, the paper we read, it says cuckoldry. It's the process it does <laughs> to have a better idea. Uh, in this way, it can beat up the orange lizard because the territory is large and it can uh, keep up with yellow lizard sneaking inside. On the other hand, since the blue lizard have a smaller territory and have just one uh, female, they can easily spot the yellow lizard. So, beating them in the process. Okay. Uh, we decided to make a simulation of uh, these species to better understand how each morph can survive. And instead of using the more common let logo language, we used the Godot engine. Uh, the reason behind it was uh, mainly because we wanted to use it for fun. But uh, if we have to make an excuse, it was because we wanted to have a better visualization of the habitats, the desert, when we want to show the hills and slopes in it. Uh, we will explain later that uh, hills and slope will determine how the lizard will uh, choose its, uh, a, a, its territory. Okay, uh, another reason is to use GDScript, the language of uh, the Godot engine, to model the complex behaviors of the lizards and how they interact with them. A with each other, and, uh, and uh, we were able, using the GD script, uh, to procedurally generate the desert each time we start a um, simulation. In this way, each simulation uh, gives us different results. Okay, now let's talk about how we model the lizards in our project. So, each lizard is intended as uh, an independent agent who acts 
and behave and interact differently with the other lizards. For this, we decided to create a common class for all the lizards where uh, they have some parameters whose values depend on the sex and morphs of the lizard. Here, uh, we have decided that the sex is male or female. The morph, if it's male, can be orange, yellow or blue. If it's female, it can be only orange and yellow. We will explain it later better, but we cannot have a blue female. There doesn't exist a blue female. Sorry for the blue fandom. Uh, uh, next, we have the size. And uh, as you can see, the size uh, can uh, depends if the lizard is male and it's orange. Because if it's an orange male, it will be the biggest, uh, up to 60 millimeters. Uh, the age, we decided to model it by simply saying it can be either a baby or an adult. And the speed, just like the size, uh, if the lizard is orange and male, it will be the fastest. And uh, uh, the lifetime. The lifetime is the opposite. As you can see, it can live up to at most uh, four years, but, uh, no, three years, sorry. But uh, if it's male, and especially if it's orange, it will live uh, a little less. Okay, now let's talk about the modeling of each morph. Uh, the orange morph, as we have said, is the largest in size, is the most aggressive morph, and wins most of its fights, not all of them. But if two lizards fight each other and one of them eats orange, it will mostly win. Uh, their territory extends up to 100 meters square. I have no idea how can they keep up with it, but the paper said so, so good for them. And uh, they can keep in, in them a large number of females. Uh, even there, they call it RM, but uh, we're Western, so. <laughs> uh, as we have said, the orange lizards have a significantly reduced early survival rate compared to the other morphs. The reason we have read was because they have high testosterone so their body don't, don't hold up this much masculinity, we can say. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, um, they, uh, uh, one thing I forgot to mention was that they are adept at stealing uh, territories from the blue lizards. So they mostly take up fight just to steal their territory and take their uh, wife. Now, for the blue morph, the blue morph have uh, intermediate size, are less aggressive, and, uh, and uh, they lose most of their fights. But it could happen that a uh, blue lizard can beat up a uh, orange lizard if they are good enough, we can say. Their territory is small, guarding only one female. And uh, um, uh, one thing that's uh, curious is the fact that blue lizards uh, can cooperate with each other. So they don't uh, mate with the, other the other's wife, but instead uh, they merge their territories uh, and help each other out. In this, uh, in this way, they, they are better at catching yellow-throated lizards. Now, uh, let's talk about the yellow morph. One peculiar thing is that uh, uh, I have said that the yellow morph looks and behaves similar to the females, and they can um, uh, behave, uh, no, they can show the female rejection way. Uh, in this way, if an uh, orange or blue male want to mate with them, they can uh, say no and don't be find out in the process. Uh, they can say they have their things. Uh, unlike other morphs, uh, yellow throated males do not hold territories but sneaks in them. Uh, another thing really curious about yellow lizard is the so-called blue coming, uh, which I don't remember is a term said in the paper or uh, I invented myself, but uh, I invented it. It's cool, so we call it uh, blue coming. Uh, so if we have that uh, near a yellow lizard, a blue lizard dies, and there are no blue lizards near it, 
then the yellow throated lizards will start to transform, becoming a blue one. Its uh, neck will become blue and they will start increasing in size and being more territorial. So they will um, no more act like females, they will act like blue males. In our model, we decide that when a yellow lizard becomes blue, it will be counted as blue, because since it acts like one, it's, uh, hey, we have no sense to keep uh, them as yellow. Okay. Now, talking about the females, as you can see, we put a ribbon to better distinguish them. And uh, um, in our model, they either roam freely in the desert or stay in one territory. Uh, they pick a territory when they find one, basically, and stay in it until the male dies and the territory is scattered. Or, uh, if uh, another male conquered that territory. Okay. On average, their lifespan is higher than the males. And as I said previously, there exists no blue-throated female. Now, uh, the children. In our model, the children are ignored by adults, regardless of their sex. And they stay in the territory with no problem. Once they reach maturity and become adult, they are rejected by the females and by the male, uh, the male and uh, they have to find or create their territory. Uh, for sake of simplicity, we assume that children do not die. Now, uh, let's talk about how children are made but without uh, the, bee, uh, the birds and the bee talk. Let's uh, talk about genetics. Uh, when uh, in our model we uh, make a child uh, born, I don't know if it's uh, okay, uh, we look at the alleles of their parents. We choose uh, at random the one allele is from the mother and one from the father. And if it's one of this combination, then it's orange. As you can see, we just need one a lily to be orange to decide that the child will be orange regardless of its sex. Uh, this makes the orange uh, a species uh, the most probable to survive. On the other hand, we have the blue ones, which uh, can only be born if uh, both a lilies we have selected is blue. I have no idea how they can survive, but they do in nature, so good for them. On the other hand, we have the yellow, with the yellow child, uh, children, which are born with uh, uh, the other uh, combinations. As you can see, it either, it either can be yellow-blue, yellow-yellow, or blue-yellow. Now it's time for my other colleague to help me out and show some live demos. Okay, before seeing the live demos, let's talk about how we model the behaviors of the lizards. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, first of all, let's see how a lizard creates a territory. So, initially, okay, only males create territories. Initially, when a male doesn't have a territory, it will start roaming around the desert to find a good spot for its, for its new home. And they tend to go on higher grounds, okay, so they tend to climb on hills or, or on sand dunes. So the way we, we, we model this is that we have a lizard which looks around in a circle, finds the highest spot in that circle and moves toward it, towards it, moves towards it and re repeats this process a certain number of times until it's happy with the place it is and creates it, uh, its territory there. Now, since we don't want all the, the top of the hills to be overcrowded, we decided to approximate this kind of searching behavior. So instead of finding the highest spot in a circle, we pick and random samples and take the, the, the highest of them. And also, this, re uh, this search is not um, 
performed like we we truncate the number of iterations so it's a so it's a sort of hill climbing literally literal hill climbing <laughs> algorithm and once once the lizard finds the, the territory, the, the place where it wants to create the territory, then it can create it. Sorry, wait. Okay, it can create it. And okay, orange lizards tend to create bigger territories, blue lizards, smaller territories. And the size of the territory, sorry, what? Uh, ah, okay. <laughs> um, Okay, the size of the territory also depends on how um, steep the slope is. So the, more, the steeper the slope, the smaller the territory, because it's, it's more difficult to protect a territory on a sloped surface. Once the territory is created, if another male happens to create a new territory in the same area, then well, they will fight because they cannot. They, especially the orange ones, do not share territories. They are more aggressive. So they fight, and well, eventually one will lose the fight and will die. But let's talk more about the the fighting. Usually, a fight happens when two lizards meet. It can be, for example in the case we have talked about. So if one creates uh, a territory and another one invades it, and the first lizard, the owner of the territory, will chase the invader lizard, and once he catches it, then they will fight. Okay. Um, Uh, so when they fight, well, the winners is, is, decide by, is decided by how big the lizard is, so how strong it is. And for example, we, we have said that orange lizards are more, li more likely to win. And once the fight is over, one of the two lizards will die. And okay, the, the other one returns to its territory if, it's, if it went outside its territory to chase the invader. The one that dies, well, if it had a territory, then the lizard will be, the, the, the territory will be destroyed. And all the lizards inside it, well, disperse, go around roaming for new places, for new territories. Now, the exception, uh, the exception to this behavior is if, if we have a yellow lizard in the territory. And we've said earlier that if a yellow lizard, uh, if a blue lizard dies, when a yellow lizard is in its territory, then there's the chance there's a chance of the yellow lizard becoming blue. So the blue coming we've talked about earlier. And well in that case the the yellow lizard becomes blue and inherits the territory, the initial territory, along with all the the the, the dwellers of the territory. Okay, we've talked about how lizards can die with fights, or, or well, of old age. Now let's talk about how they, how they <laughs> spawn, <laughs> how they spawn. When <laughs> a male lizard and a, yellow, and a female lizard love each other, <laughs> well, a new, a new baby lizard will, be, will spawn. And well, yeah, uh, the, the, the color, the size, all its uh, parameters, are determined by, by the, the, the parents, as we've said, with, the, with our genetic modeling. I am just now noticing that I'm not doing the live, the live demo. Hmm? Okay. Uh, well, a new, okay, if, if, <laughs> if the, the female lizard rejects the male lizard, well, breaks, breaks its, his heart but no new lizard will be born. Uh, I'll do a live demo right now. Oops. Okay. So this is our model, our uh, project. 
first of all, let's see what happens if we have a, a kind of smaller desert and we want to spawn a, an orange lizard. We can change, the, change some parameters to see how, how long they will live, etc. And okay, this is the desert. It's a female lizard, so it's ju it just roams around without creating a territory. But we can see if we spawn a male lizard, okay, now it created a territory. Now, of course, the, this desert is not very steep, so it just was happy with, with where it was and created this territory. And now, yeah, they met each other and the new child is born. As I said earlier, when child, children are born, yeah, exactly. <laughs> when children are born, they just run around, find a new place to make their territories. But when they grow up, they can kill, it, kill their parents, as sometimes happen in this demonstration. <laughs> Very fun to watch. <laughs> okay, we can see now a kind of bigger uh, model with a bigger desert. Well, okay, we'll do 1.2. Oh, so now that all three kinds of lizards will spawn. So our model is like this, right? It's very, it's very, it's very fun to watch. The, of course, the colored patches, I don't know how well you can see them on this projector, but these are blue territories, these are orange territories, and these are fights that are happening. And the idea is that with these uh, populations, if the parameters are right, are correct, as, uh, as they are in real life, they actually oscillate. Okay, so every, I think, three years, one of the three morphs of lizards become more uh, prevalent so there are a lot of for example orange lizards and less blue and, ye and yellow then after three years there are a lot of blue lizards and so on well now in our model this doesn't really work mm -hmm. because we had a ton of simplifications for example we don't have uh, the cooperating behaviors of blue lizards which we, we said that if two, li two blue lizards are close and they will cooperate and help to defend their territory. We don't have that. So it's definitely a, an, an issue. But still, it's, we can play with the parameters and see a bit how it works. And usually, if you, if you set the parameters right, they can explode in size in the number of lizards. And unfortunately, Godot is not very good for this. But OK. Conclusions. Help me conclude. Come here. I don't. Huh? So, uh, as you can see, we have modeled the rock, paper, seesaw mating behavior of this particular species of lizard, and we have implemented it using the Godot engine. As uh, my colleague Alexander Stair said, we're not all things have been modeled for the sake of simplicity and uh, time constraints. Another thing uh, he forgot to mention was that uh, uh, we have read that uh, uh, yellow female lizards tend to make uh, less children, not just one, 
and they are more stronger while orange lizards make more children but they are smaller and they have a higher percentage to die young uh, we did not model it only because the model would explode and uh, it would lag uh, a mess basically we need a lot of optimization but i have uh, not yet done spm so i don't know how to parallelize it <laughs> uh, lastly uh, first of all thank you for your attention but uh, uh, we wanted to show some bloopers uh, of uh, what we have encountered while programming it first of all here we have uh, that for some reasons the lizards were able to escape the desert and the males although they are in the void they still wanted to fight so good for their testosterone i guess and uh, here is a little example where we decided to put a lot of lizards in a small patch of deserts uh, and the project exploded basically it uh, did go at to a fps or something like that still better than the drifting in gazan and real time, real time. <laughs> we just decided to make a desert of one dimension uh, two lizards are really battling for their survival here it's final destination final destination 1v1 uh, for some reason we had a bug that uh, could make uh, one lizard really big so we have uh, Godzilla in uh, our model uh, here I wasted like an entire day to try to make the um, walls uh, of the desert so that the lizard didn't escape uh, and this was the result I the error was basically that uh, the axis uh, uh, I put was wrong if I remember correctly anyway Alexander fixed it in like 10 minutes so one day wasted uh, this was because we didn't uh, remember because it I was implementing uh, basically the reset the reset of the of the simulation <laughs> And, and for some reason, in, I don't remember what happened, but it was creating a new, a new, um, a new mesh, but it wasn't deleting the old one. I, anyway, it wasn't deleting the old one and was using uh, some, some places used, used references to the new one, some places used references to the old one. Broke everything. But yeah, well, as you, uh, we we fixed it, we fixed it. No, 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 it's perfect now. It works flawlessly. Uh, and that's it. So thank you for. Watch andare indietro. Thanks for your attention. Have fun.